So you just have finished a panel in your knitting machine and it looks like this with the sides funky and all curled. So I'm going to show you how you're going to be fixing this and getting it ready for you to start attaching all the panels together. So this is going to turn into this. Check this out. Look at the before and after. This is just the most incredible thing. So let me show you exactly how to do this. So the first step is going to be turning the raw edge that you just did the cast off into this beautiful edging as you can see. So I'm going to be using a four millimeters crochet hook and two stitch markers because we have two sides. So you want to begin on the opposite side that you have your end. So I have my end here. I'm going to be starting on the opposite side. So you're going to find any stitch on this edge right here in the corner. So I'm going to be getting this one. If you want, you can take both that it's here at the beginning. And then you will see that when you pull this yarn, you will have the little loops at the top. So we have all the little loops here. So those are the ones you want to get. So you're going to go into the next loop available and then you're going to pass that loop through the previous one. So now you have one on the hook. You're going to go into the next loop. You can see that the yarn is running through that loop. So go ahead and find it. There we go. And then you're going to be passing that loop through the previous one that is on the hook. You want to do this quite loosely. You don't want to make it too tight. And then you're going to be repeating this all the way down, finding the loop right at the top and then sliding into the previous one that is on the hook. And then when you get at the end, just keep on repeating the same steps, finding the loops and slip stitching them. Then you want to get that very last one as well and slip stitching that. And here it's where you want to add something to just lock this little loop in place. So it's not going to undo everything that we just did. And this is how the finishing looks like. Super nice and clean. And you can do the same to the other side, exactly the same step, as you can see. And if you are wondering what to do to finish everything off, you're going to be passing this end through the very last loop. It's going to secure that loop in place so it's not going to undo everything. And then from there, you can just weave in this little end here on the reverse and then you are done. I'm not doing that because I'm going to be doing something else here with my project. But yeah, that's what you're going to be doing. Now the next tip, it's how to uncurl your project. You're simply going to need your work, some pins, a towel on top laid on a table, and then you will need a steamer. I have this one, super cheap from Amazon. If you don't have a steamer, you can also use your iron with the steam setting on and then it's going to work exactly the same. So let's fix this. And then you are just going to lay your project nice and flat as you want to steam block it. And then you're just going to pin your project into your work here, into the towel, just like this exactly to the sizing that it's supposed to be. I am doing here on the right side. So once you've done a little bit of steaming around your project, this little piece here, you can just let it cool and then you can just continue all the way to the end. I'm going to let this side cool and then I'm going to show you how this side looks compared to the other side. 
and look at it it's so nice and flat now compared to the other side so i'm going to now finish to steam block all this <laughs> and also do here on the reverse because the curling happens on the reverse so you can also do on the reverse if you want i did on the right side but it's really completely up to you how you want to do it So this is how you fix the sides and the curling of your knitting machine panels. I am a knitting machine beginner, so everything that I learn and find useful, I will be sharing with you. So if you have any requests or any help you need, let me know in the comments and I'll try to fix that issue and I can maybe share with you how to fix that. So yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed the two little tips in today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!